It's a sea of orange as September 30th marks the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Community members in Montreal have gathered for the fourth annual Every Child Matters Walk. As residential schools have been around for over 100 years, there's an enormous amount of damage that's been done to Indigenous people. So we want people to know what happened. I don't think the history books in, you know, elementary and high school are really that... Um, they don't share enough about residential schools and the actual harm that happened. The walk was hosted by the Native Women's Shelter of Montreal and Resilience Montreal, with support from Pop Montreal and the David Suzuki Foundation. What we'd like to do is bring people out and have really amazing speakers come in and share their words, their knowledge, and even their songs. <laughs> crossroads here the indigenous wisdom and all of this stuff that happened yeah it's sad but yesterday is history tomorrow is a mystery we have the power of today and now to say okay what can we do together equally to make it better <laughs> that we feel it's important to be here and take a stand and say yes the demands for reparation and justice for the uh, the native the indigenous people of this country is something important as it is also the whole issue of sovereignties of people huge amount of recommendations that were made to the truth and reconciliation commission have not been respected so far and um, crimes continue to be committed against first nations and so what's that going to take, another 100 years? There's 94 calls to, to, to justice or to action, and yet I think 11 have been done. And it's 10 years since they, you know, it was implemented, the TRCs, and yet 11 have been done. So who's going to do the work? It'll be the next generations. Montreal, Sudarasi, City News.